I, like, I know this. I know this off by heart. I just can't stop watching this, you know? I'm I'm not gonna do that one. I'm <laughs> I, I, I'm a little limited, I'm sorry. Corridor Digital. These guys are my YouTube childhood, but after all these years of making visual effects short film content, do they still age well? Or do we all just have nostalgia goggles? Let's test that. I collected the top 20 most popular Corridor Digital videos, and now we're gonna rank them, side by side. Starting off, World's Longest Lightsaber. <laughs> oh! Wow. It's a real lightsaber! <laughs> oh, uh, that looked a little chunky, but all right. Oh! All right, that was... A little uh, a hint at the at the cringe. They're going for like you know they're going for that uh integrate it, make people believe it's real, and you'll get more virality out of it. It was alright, especially because they didn't do too much with it. They broke a bunch of boxes, destroyed one plane, but for what it is, way better than anything I could produce. So let's put it at a, at a C tier for now. Primitive technology crafting a zombie meat harvester. Fire's a little dodgy, but we'll go with it. Cool. It's cool to see someone. Hell yeah! Just throw stuff down and it's built, like in a game. The execution's not that impressive, but I guess like the concept isn't that impressive. But it's great as a uh, reference. A laptop! Oh! <laughs> Alright, this is great. This is also a very different, like, style. There is no, um... There's no dialogue. I like that zombie. He's an enthusiastic zombie. That zombie is gone. This feels weird. So wait, the guy actually has a camera to hold on to? They, like, this has a different vibe when it's when it's standoff on the tripod. It has a diff totally different vibe than handheld. I thought it was just kind of... You were witnessing, but he wasn't actually controlling it with the camera, but okay. Oh, he's actually going to steal the camera. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, is it this kind of video suddenly? This ASMR is getting serious. <laughs> Bam! Nice. So cool, they've got an action replay. <laughs> that, that's choppy, but all right. All right, cool. That was, um, it was good. It, I mean, I'm impressed. I guess it's kind of like, this doesn't blow me away. But what it was trying to do, I think it executed pretty, pretty flawlessly, you know? Bam. Average. Let's put it on an A. Be, we'll be generous this time. Right, following that. Wow, the third most popular thing they made right afterwards was more primitive technology. They made a sequel. Crafting a bamboo motorcycle to escape zombies. There is nothing left to the ima imagination here. This really is for our benefit, him being in his underwear. That is tight. You know, you just put together the wood pieces, add in a little bit of adhesive tape, and then you just finish the rest of the owl. Um. Have you ever seen how the motorcycle was invented? You just need a couple of undead human arms. Easy. And this guy's shirt. Oh! Tires are made out of arms! That makes sense! Right! That makes sense to me! Oh! Nice! Where do you get the screw? Where- there's a screw in there! Okay, alright. <laughs> alright, fine, that's- that's fine. This was cool. I don't think it needed to be seven minutes, you know? I kind of got a little tired of it after a while. It's still pretty good. I don't know how they did it, necessarily. But I would probably say not the best they've made. Kind of overstayed it welcome. It's welcome. World's largest laser gun. Oh, those crosshairs, friend. That was cool. Oh, you know what I see? A distinct lack of a giant gun laser bullet. D tier. Nice. I kind of wish we could have seen it more, but it's fine. You know it was going- like, that makes sense. It's got to kill a guy, and it's got to have the most basic, classic kind of cartoon stock sound. I wish it was done a little less. Obviously. Oh! Who needs sex education? This covers us. But, again, it's just- Cringy, a little bit, you know, just a little, like, I can get behind some cheesy stuff, but like, this was too, 
That was too much of a gap here. You know, should have hit someone out the wall or something. You know? See, that's a good thumbnail. I like the thumbnail designs they've got half the time. Mmm, no. We're putting it at a C. New robot makes soldiers obsolete. That's a fully CG robot. You can kind of tell by the arms. The arms kind of give it away, but it's good enough. If you need a stumbling robot that can perfectly aim at everything, he's got you covered. That gun though, like the animation of the gun, looks a bit jank. See what I mean? Like it's... It's also like got no shadowing on it, it feels like. Or well, not none, but like, the shadows are a little off. I actually think, if I remember right, there's a chance that this was actually a little bit of mocap work. Oh, It's the dog! Also notably CG, but that's fine. Run, little boy! Oh! oh. I had no idea that was a cliff. <laughs> That's a high a, a tier right there, yeah. Shadow of Mordor, live action, official. This is some very impressive makeup, but it's clearly because they threw money at this. <laughs> Dunk! Good to see my nightmare fuel made it in. My paralysis demon. Always fun when he shows up. They never give him even a weapon? He had a dagger, didn't he? Or maybe he was always destined to be screwed over. Cool. Come on, Mr. Mordor! I don't know the character's name. Fusro Dar this! That's, oh, actually, I was gonna say, it's decent so far. That was pretty cool. The blood splatters are a little bit off-putting. It's the only thing that's like throwing me out of it so far. And there's the decapitation. I like the CG in this. Yeah, I enjoy that, I think. Like, it's... I'm not as much into, like, the fantasy genre generally myself. I'll put that as a low S tier. S for solid. The glitch. But before we get started, since you're this far in, here's my poke to tell you to subscribe. This is our second channel, Daz Reviews 2. So please check if you're subbed or not. Or join us on Twitch as we stream nearly every day. This is the, this is the nostalgia stuff. I, like, I know this. I know this off by heart. I just can't stop watching this, you know? I'm, I'm not gonna do that one. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm a little limited, I'm sorry. Link and Ness, I forgot they were in this. Also, the sound design. The blibbity blibbity. This horrified me as a kid, but it's oh, so good. I don't remember that in Mario, but it's fine. What is that, Red Dead Redemption guy? I never noticed him before. You gotta unplug the game! I just... And I love, like, the chip tuniness that old Corridor used to have. That original music that was noticeable. This is still top of its league. In a lot of ways, it didn't need to do the most crazy realistic CG in this case. Nerf Team Fortress. See, already, like, the character acting is, like, goofy, but I like the fact that it's not trying to be real. It's a real lightsaber! <laughs> this is funny. This feels the most like a student production. I can't even tell why. Like, like, I guess maybe there's less CG. It's following the physical, the physical things a little bit more, but it feels the most... Fake? Like, it doesn't hit. That was pretty good. The earlier videos had a lot more slow-mo. It made every moment feel more intense. Those are really good. Also, great use of sound design. It's the classic sounds from the game. Very cool. Oh, yeah! Cool. It's a spy. Among us. Uh, he's just standing there. Menacingly! Like you could, G. Now it's time for the CG. They left it behind on purpose. He's not CG. That's a real, that's live action. I should have said that a little bit later. Let's see the heavy. Oh! It's so cool to see old YouTubers making appearances. It makes the cameo more cool because I haven't seen this guy in years, it feels like. Here it comes. CG land. Oh, I'm like a kid again. That guy's got a lot of string on him. So good. 
They just fell over slowly, but it just... Whoa. Perfection. There were good moments, like they build up to things quite well. The sets was good. The nerf sentry was pretty cool. It was a little choppy. You know, that's very rough. A tier. But this is B tier now. Minecraft, the last minecart. 13 days after infection. There's a minecart that can get us out of here. <laughs> that's some dubbing. That's some chunky dubbing right there. We gotta make a run for it. There's a minecart that can take us out of here. It's charming in its own way. I really like those carrot costumes, to be fair. It's iconically Minecraft now. Get the rock music out there. It's 2011, boys. Green lighting's the way to go. Nice. That's pretty good. Cool. Look at that tracking. Minecraft works so well as CG. I lied. Oh, he got the pork chop! What is this? What? All right. <laughs> what an ending. Okay. I'm beyond impressed how good that was. Honestly. Man, their old stuff is like primitive. Yet also so transformative. It works so well. I'm going to put that as an A tier. I did not expect to get there, but all right. Tactical reloads. Reload. Oh, bro, that wasn't cool at all. <laughs> what you doing? Nice. <laughs> I'm glad these guys are here just to help them use their bullets. <laughs> He's already reloaded. He's just flipping it afterwards. Oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. Reloading someone else's gun on him? That's pretty cool. They- oh man, this concept's going in a lot of places. Oh, I thought he was just gonna show up and reload, never mind. I got the wrong vibe here, he's just out for straight up murder. <laughs> oh, He's got ammo in his crotch! And my ammo is in my crotch. I'll keep note of that. Oh, yeah! I mean, actually, that wasn't that, that that wasn't that much. We just had like a dude, like shoot his own bullet and catch it. That wasn't quite on the same level, my dude. That weren't bad, ish. That last reload, I don't think was as cool. I think that's an eight here. Real GTA. I've seen many videos trying to get the GTA angle. And a lot of them fail. I wonder how people feel with like just watching him punch a dude. Um, I guess they see the camera. This is why I just want to pull- I just- this makes me want to go on a holiday. No one turns around and looks. I'm waiting for like someone in the background to notice, but probably not. It's funny, I recognize this, because clearly GTA 5 is based in LA. Whoa! Also, a CG car. That's how they're doing it. That's a drone going along and they plug in the car afterwards. The car looks a little bit off, but I can't tell you why. The music is great though. This is what I liked about the old Corridor Digital. It's like the loud in your face music that I feel like has been missing lately. Ah, oh. <laughs> That's a good ending. That's good. Ain't it? In 33 days you'll die. Lifeline episode one. Huh? Oh, this is gonna get funky. So I think this is a like a YouTube red sort of story. This is 25 minutes, so we might do a bit of skimming. I feel like every YouTuber who did a YouTube red series or some production series has loads of views on episode one, and then you never hear the rest. Maybe it's because you have to pay for the other ones. I don't know, we'll see. In 33 days, you're gonna die. Sweet! Oh, all right, never mind. Ah, um, maybe I'm done with this show. <coughs> what is going on now? What is this? What am I watching? What am I watching? Where is this, what? What's going on? I've never been more uncomfortable. So was it 33 days ago that they said she lost it? She's gonna die. I didn't pick that up at all. That's a major flaw in the storytelling. Don't show me. Don't show it. I don't want to see this. Uh, oh, and then they save her? I bloody well hope so. I don't want to see that arm again. 
What about the dude? You're gonna kill the Nope, dude dead. Ah, I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Very clear. What? what? Save my life. Why are you here? What's going on? What is this? All right, and then this scene goes on for another two minutes. It's a long one. This is interesting, but it's also not got the Sam and Nico element, which is what we come to this for. I'm sure it's fine, but it ain't a corridor digital. High C tier. GTA VR featuring Steven Ogg. It's been six years since this video came out, which is five years after the game came out. There still isn't another GTA. Google Tesla Apple Verizon. Wow. <laughs> Ah, it's me on a Saturday, playing 12 hours of VR. Oh, Jesus. There he is! Let's see it! Come on! What's Trevor getting up to? In LA Los Santos. LA LS. Oh, it's Free Guy. This is just Free Guy. <laughs> I like that. Keep, this, keep the swear in there. Comedy. He's so angry! Cough! <laughs> Froth it at the mouth and everything. You don't need to believe your dreams, man. Oh! In the midnight zone. <laughs> oh. Good night. Okie dokie. Alright. That was good. That was good. See that? That should have been the YouTube Red Show. This is acting at its peak because it's Trevor, of course. I was still invested. I was actually invested in the plot. That never happens. That was really fun. That's probably an S tier. I'll put it up there. Not the highest of S tiers, but it's an S tier. New robot can now fight back. Let's see some Boston Dynamics. That CG looks worse than the original. So maybe that's not an original. Maybe this is a sequel. This might be the original and the sequel got more views before. The box is very CG. How did people fall for this? It was only three years ago. All of this is really clunky. Like, look at the box down here. Like, it's just... When it's falling, it's a... awfully off. The sound design's good, though. But I tell you what, this does not age as nicely. Oh! How did it grab that? It's got nubs. <laughs> The whip as well? What is this? What is, where is this going? Bro, oh, bro! Why is this? What are they gonna do? Why? Bit overkill. Time for some cupcakes. This is so weird. This original video. Oh. Oh. He upset. <laughs> That's kind of a funny image. All right. I preferred the original, which presumably was the sequel. because This seems like the early days design of that same concept. But man, it is like choppy in hindsight. I'm surprised um, for how many people, yeah, thought it was real, you know. Even still, B tier. It didn't age well. Superman with a GoPro. 2014. Oh, wow. I didn't know this was so ahead of the time. Drone! Ah. Oh. That, uh, couple things. Hold on. Pause. The click between GoPro and drone? Very obvious, you know? And then the green screen hands. But let's go for a fly. Let's just enjoy it anyway. Okay, cool. I thought it was just gonna be flying for three minutes. Nice. Oh! Fire! How does Superman deal with this? That <laughs> such a CG playground, but it's fine. Like, rooftop. So weird. Or I guess the guy was. Like a paper character. Oh! Wow, she's surprisingly not screaming for all the whiplash she's probably getting. And the perfect hair afterwards. Hey! Did the shadows match his hands? Yes! Okay, they got the light going around his hand. That's good. But alright, that was uh, decent. I enjoyed the flight. Let's put it at another high B tier. The Battlegrounds movie. Nice. I don't know why, it's something about like this cinematography, uh, this choreography, I prefer. Less on that blood splatter, that was a bit naff, but, got the slow-mo. Ooh, care package. I like the skins. 
Where's Wally, basically? Oh. Do you not just press square? Surprise, motherfucker. Oh man, I was into the intensity the intensity of that. And then it just Alright. Damn it, lines. Oh he's on it. And that's the end of the video. No! Frying pan man, come on. This is a devastating plotline. I did not expect everyone to die. <laughs> Block it with the frying pan! Yeah! Is that how PUBG works? <laughs> oh, man, they actually all survived. They're all just downed. Okay. It's a happy ending after all. I tell you what, that was decent. Cringy lines in a couple places. Nice intensity just around a crate. That was like a good little drama, you know? But PUBG, pretty good. Dubstep gun! Humor. Ooh! This is like anime style, like their anime videos later on. I'm loving the music because, of course, it's a music based video. Man, do I like dubstep now that I've aged up? What's happened? Of course, it's loads of CG. That's pretty impressive. I forget about that. I get too used to it. But the actions, the actions aren't much so far. Ooh! There's some cool lighting though they do them sometimes, like the screen as well, the silhouettes, the glowing beads. This is such an old school video. That was so decent though, actually. No, that's an S tier. And I like sci-fi more than this, so we're going for it. Sure. Assassin's Creed 3, Rebel Blades. You never see this much character in a corridor, like this sort of ha 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 ha. The kid's just like, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, were we supposed to start? Are you prepared to receive Assassin's Blade in your thyroid? Let us go. I had a feeling that was gonna be gory. <laughs> Surprised they didn't shoot the guy who was actually gonna gun shoot, but alright. Ooh. Oh, that's a great prop. Oh, cool. Ooh, oh. oh, can you do that in that game? That's an amazing display. That's so creative. Probably more on the game devs than on a on a corridor. That was alright. Um, the choreography didn't blow me away as much as it could have done, I think. Pretty standard. Not as good as PUBG. You know, these two are kind of like samey. Not as cool. Nerf John Wick. <sighs> Nerf, again, a series of theirs that they ran with. We had Nerf Team Fortress. <laughs> Don't mind that guy just walking on the street with a full <laughs> robber's mask. It happens, you know. Oh. John Wick, what are you gonna do? Good so far. Oh, I'm loving the camera motion, like, matching him. It's accurate to the film so far. I've only seen the first one, though. We've come back to dubstep and tactical reloads. I'm seeing it all merge together. Decent. It didn't go that crazy. Like, you know, there'll be times when, like, you know, Keanu Reeves grabs the guy's arm and then, like, flips it around and goes underneath and, like, breaks in and does the bunch of gun stuff. But, for what it's worth, like, the swish, the diagonal. The turn over this way. The moving more. You know, that's really good. I really like that. I'm gonna swap these two over so that Nerf Gun's there and Minecraft, surprisingly really good. We love our Mario. We love our Mint Raft. Final thing that we somehow missed when we opened all the tabs is this little guy here. Let's see the smallest empire. Cool. I can do that. I want to do that. I want to green screen my full body so I can do these jokes. <laughs> Aha! My people, my things. The sound design's very satisfying. Run! Simple citizens, get out of here! Or one of you can, I guess. Oh, the color grading's gone cold because it's sad times. The field is essentially blue at this point. And also not growing very nicely. Oh, romance in a corridor video? That never happens. That was funky. Um, I thought there was going to be a little bit more to it. I'll put it as a C tier. I guess it really was destined to be like this. Perfectly squared out, this whole thing is. But there you go. That is how I would rank then the top 20 Corridor videos. That just about does it for our Corridor rankings, but let me know what other nostalgic channels we could rank next. Or catch us doing these live on our Twitch. Here is our general schedule with these videos often being done on the Friday slot. Oh hey, that's today. Maybe we're streaming now. Come check it out. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed. Come subscribe if you're not already. 
and I'll see you all for the next one.